at the National Organic Beef Open Day and I'm speaking with Martin Burke, Organic Crop Specialist. Um, Martin, could you tell us what you're talking about here today? Yeah, well I'm uh, talking about combination crops. Um, what combination crops are essentially a mixture of a legume mixed with a cereal crop. So peas or beans mixed with, you know, uh, oats or barley, uh, triticale or wheat. And could you tell us then how combination crops will be managed on the farm? Yeah, well, you sow them around uh, the end of March, early April. You just want to wait till soil temperatures are warm enough and dry enough. And you don't want to sow too early either. If you do, you want to put them down deep because the crows love them. So, uh, so they're sown about an inch deep. Uh, the beauty of the, the legume in the, mi in the mix is that it supplies nitrogen for the crop. So then you just have to top up the P and K as per the soil test requirement. And you can do that with a variety of different organic manures, such as FYM, slurry, or another approved organic manure. And then there's different ways to harvest the combination crops. Could you tell us a bit about those? Yeah, so you could take it all the way to full ripening and cut with a conventional combine harvester. So, you're, you know, that's one way. Uh, just be careful when you put it in storage that you keep it well aerated so it doesn't heat. Uh, the other option is you could cut it uh, early and ferment it and put it in the pit like they do here in Purcell's farm. And then another option would be to use a crimping machine, which basically cracks the seed coat and then you put it into an airtight clamp. So there's plenty of options there. And Martin, what then would be the main benefits of growing combination crops? Well, I suppose it's a great way of bringing on your own home-grown source of protein onto the farm. So you get the starch from the cereal grain and you're getting a good source of protein from the peas. So it's, a, you know, it's an excellent way to grow your own feed and you'll be bringing in maybe a, a 14 to 18% source of feed onto the farm. Great. Thanks very much for that, Martin.